Hi Scorpio, it's Mystical here. We have your reading from September 1st to the 15th for the collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs for Scorpio. We are going to start, I already cleansed and blessed the cards. We're gonna do Dorian Virtue, asking the angels for advice from my Scorpios. So Scorpio, the messages are September 1st and 2nd is a full moon in the sign of Pisces. This is bringing in an uplifting energy. It's also bringing in completions, problem solving, improvements in your body, improvements with your health. Let's get another card. Lots of completions and taking care of your health bringing in restoration, transformation. Okay, let's see. The first card out, you are at the end of a cycle in your life, Scorpio. Call upon your angels to comfort you and to guide you to your next step. Happiness awaits you. That's, all, that's it. That Pisces full moon on the first and second is gonna bring in that transformation, clearing and restoring karma, a completion. This is coming to accomplishment, something in your life. This reading is more focused on love, but we'll see what comes up. And I'm feeling an area in your life that you finished a cycle. This could have been a 30-year cycle, a 10-year cycle, but a big cycle in your life is now clearing. If you're between the ages of 30 and 50, you'll know what I'm talking about. You'll feel a whole new change something lifting uplifting and there's a next card that's saying the conditions it's saying no conditions aren't favorable right now you need to wait or look into other options and ask the angels to help guide and comfort you mercury is going retrograde on the 9th in september and we're doing this reading for two weeks take it how it resonates but something here is telling you hang on hold on take your time it's going to bring back something. It's telling you back up. There's something you need to clear up from the past. Now, Mercury brings back exes. It brings back um, people, whether that's a soul connection, a family connection. But it's bringing it back so that we can restore the energy with that. It's saying yoga and exercise are essential to your well-being, your peace of mind, and your spiritual growth right now. Ray is the name on this. It's a beautiful card. And there's a need for you to ground yourself. That is what I heard first. Get grounded. You're going through a deep, deep, deep healing right now, Scorpio. This is all about your health and your well-being. A need for you to take a breath in and breathe out. Doing meditation, doing yoga, exercising, and I see that you are. I see there's a Scorpio here that could be somewhere near water, palm trees. I'm also seeing a Scorpio here that's very connected to the spiritual realms, very much so. <clears throat> okay, we already did a pre shuffle. We call upon the Holy Spirit. Let's do one more shuffle. Your ships are coming in. I saw that three of wands. You're ending a cycle and whatever is coming now, it is coming. But remember, this reading is for two weeks and there's something here that needs to be cleared up. But happiness does await you, Scorpio. Yeah, four of cups here. There's an, an interest to no interest here. This is like, I'm not interested. You're not interested anymore in the in the people that were in your life, relationships here. It's like been there, done that kind of feeling. Or this can be someone that resonates with you in your life. There's that cycle completed. Someone here ended a cycle with the world card. This is like finished and done. You finished a very big cycle here with the world. And this is that Pluto transit that's going on right now in the sign of Capricorn, Pluto, Saturn, and Jupiter. And this is telling me this is positive. It's a completion. 
It's a new phase in your life that's opened. You're ready to end a cycle and having a positive vibration. This can also mean a need to travel or you will be traveling, but there is something here that you accomplished that you mastered in this cycle. This could be 10 years, it could be 30 years. We're, we're bringing in big cycles right now and say the cycle will be over. We're gonna keep this. Yeah, so there was an ending here, a breakup, someone that feels left out in the cold that went through an ending and a breakup here. Someone that's not interested in the relationship. There you are, Scorpio. There was an ending. Death card. It's time to end the karmic cycles that were in the past. Time to clear the energies. A past ex, like I said, could come back, but there was definitely, this is you and your power, so we're gonna keep it. That's major arcana here. There's that positive energy, my loves positive the sun is shining on you filling you with willpower filling you with determination this is also your soul is very happy i see a scorpio here that could be like i said by an ocean and the sunshine water grounding yourself a need to ground yourself yep wow that's some major major moves when i have that much major arcana this is going to really bring you into happiness. We're gonna stop right there. Let's pull the four cards out. One is your energy, what's challenging you, advice from Holy Spirit, and the outcome. Beautiful. Something positive waits for you. This is bringing in, like I said, the sun energy. And you have a choice to make. A need to trust your intuition. You just can't yet see clearly where you're headed. You may not know which direction, but you know there's a choice here. There can be two decisions or two people involved here. I don't really feel with that two card and the four cups, you're still not, there's a confused energy here. And that's why it's saying conditions aren't favorable right now. You need to ask questions. You need to ask for the angels to guide you because you are being guided towards happiness here success awaits you sun card it's the highest it's the highest card in the deck it is letting me know it's also the sign of leo you may have a leo here of significance i have leo i have sagittarius i have water signs we basically have them all now the energy of your energy is king of swords I see a Scorpio here who is more in their mind. You have Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius here. And you cut out something for sure. The King of Swords is a master at his mind. Once you set your mind on something that it's over, it's over, done, ended, end of game. That's what I feel here. King of Swords energy. You are thinking mentally sharp here. I'm seeing you have control, you have understanding, and there's definitely a cutting out energy here, but thinking mentally sharp here. Getting communication, communication's coming in here. There's something here that was ended and you're just putting that end to it. Your challenge is the full card. Yep, challenge is to start that new beginning a whole new cycle has opened up for you. And do you see the sun? How you're aligned with it? You're aligning yourself on body, mind, spirit here. And you're trusting in God here. The wand is aligned to the, to the sun here. Letting me know that you're aligned with the Holy Spirit. And you're ready for that new beginning. You're ready to take that leap of faith in the direction that you want to go to. And this is Uranus ruled by Uranus. So this is telling me a surprise is coming in. That's why there's a need for you to just hang on and wait. Something very surprising that's gonna push you forward. Having the willpower to take that chance, to take that new direction you're headed in. The advice from the Holy Spirit is yes, you are going to do this. Ten of Wands is Aries, Leo, Sag. This is telling me 
You're always saying, I got it, I got it, I got it. You help everyone. You have so many burdens on your shoulders. The Holy Spirit, God is saying, give them to God. Give this to the Spirit. Release what no longer works for you. Move away. This person can't even see the road ahead where he's headed. He, it's blocking the vision. Just like I saw in the Two of Swords. Blocking your vision. You can't see clearly yet. But you will be enlightened. This is enlightenment. Your soul. Deep down in your soul. You're feeling this energy. Now there is someone at a distance from you. You will need to travel. Like I said there's travel here. <clears throat> this is Sagittarius. This is all. Excuse me. This is also my twin flame card. But someone is waiting for you at a distance is what I feel here. There's a divine timing that needs to happen here. You need to have patience because there's a bigger purpose here for you. You have a bigger purpose. This is going to align you with your highest soul purpose that's going to be for the greatest good, Scorpio. You are getting a third eye activation and a heart chakra activation. There's a need for deep healing to take place here, for you to get grounded, for you to do yoga and exercise and breathing during this time when you're getting these activations because there's alchemizing going on here. Now I have a lot, a lot of major arcana here. I have one, two, three, four, five, five major arcana. There's a major turning point here for you in this month. And there's a need for that reality check that you're doing. You are doing that reality check. You're improving yourself. You're improving your body. You're improving your money. There's a freedom that's here for you, my darlings. A freedom in September that's coming. And that's that Pisces full moon that's going to be, you're going to be filling it with that water energy. Mars going retrograde and also on the 17th of September is fruition harvest moon in Virgo so the only earth energy I have here is the five of pentacles there could be a, a financial problem right now but it's telling me hang on hang on because freedom is coming here from that you are freeing yourself yourself. I'm sorry, I apologize. Let's get some clarifiers. Tell me more about this world card. Show me what, why the world card is here, Holy Spirit. Let's see. And that's that Pluto and Scorpio. That's the Transformer. You know you're the Transformer. Five of Pentacles, again, strongly. Someone here can be going through the dark night of the soul. There's a cycle here that you went through. You can look this up, Google, what does a dark night of the soul mean? And it means you went through a spiritual awakening. So I'm speaking to some here that dive down the rabbit hole and you went through a spiritual awakening here. You will not be the same ever again with the transformation that's taking place here. God is leading you to happiness and abundance. The sun is shining on you. Follow. Like I, I'm so glad I'm feeling the energy of that now. Yeah, you definitely have gone through the dark night of soul here. Let's do a clarifier on that death card. That's that energy of air, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Someone here can't sleep at night is what I'm feeling over this ending. Nine of swords. This is telling me it's the end here and someone just can't make it through kind of feeling they're in disbelief they're stressing they're overthinking there's a lot of overthinking a lot of mental energy here and it's not easy to go through transformation it's not that's not a very easy process Scorpio but you know how to do that you know how to recreate and I see that energy here but someone is in their head about this ending Let's see what's going on. Why is the King of Swords here for my lovely Scorpios?
They're doubting their selves, is what I'm seeing. King of Swords is clarified by the will of the year. That's my will of the fortune energy. I love it. And the King of Pentacles. Wow. Let's clarify that fool. Let's clarify the Ten of Wands. Let's clarify the Temperance. Okay. King of Swords again. Wow. You do have someone up here that has Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. I'm feeling more Aquarius with the King of Swords energy. Now let's see what we have here. Yeah. Someone faced their shadow side here. The shadow side for me is that heavy Saturn devil energy. Someone here could have had addictions. They could have had obsessions here. And there's someone here that is has someone here from the past six of cups you may have children with this person six of cups is your childhood memories also this is i'm feeling more someone that has childhood memories that you are gone through the through a healing for that dark night of the soul with this capricorn energy this tells me that in the past here there was an energy that had to have been healed and you face that dark side of your energy and you're coming to the balance. Pluto's all about that. Pluto's also about evolving. The dark and the light. Managing. Balancing. Gaining balance through this. Because you do have angels all around you, Scorpio, during this time. You have God's assistance. This, this is being a divine healing here on you. You're going through a huge, huge transformation. For your highest good and your greatest good you are lining up with your divine life purpose because the king of pentacles is clarifying the king of swords with the will of the year now the will of the year is my jupiter energy this is destiny this is good fortune good luck coming to you the time is now the time is now do you see the pentacles here you could have taurus virgo or capricorn here someone in in your life now because i have masculine energy take it how it goes i don't really go by by the energies of female man or male but i do have two kings here so this is telling me someone here is very grounded someone's very business like they master the finances they're the breadwinners and this energy is coming back now the will is turning in your favor this is a date with destiny this is life changing new beginnings, new phase in your life. And yes, the time is now for this. So I see a very strong masculine energy here. Someone that's thinking mentally sharp and focused on their business. They're really not focused on love at this time. There's a healing here, an ending. You ended a relationship is what I'm seeing. And now you're just thinking and mentally focused on yourself, healing yourself. With the full card in the position, what's challenging you for to take that leap of faith? What's that need to go within? This is my Virgo card. This is the hermit. There was a need to go soul searching, what you did. With the five of pentacles and this card, you did go. I'm speaking to an amount, a small amount of people here that did experience dark night of the soul and you are coming out of it. This is also letting me know you're in touch with the Holy Spirit. You've gone to the mountain to seek God. You see that light in your hand right there? You're seeking the light. And you have the light inside of you now. This is the spiritual wisdom, spiritual knowledge. You also withdrew yourself. You're, you're alone. You, you, you're taking yourself away from others right now because I see the third party. You pulled away. You pulled away from probably, I, I said third party, why I did say that? Well, it could be. You pulled away from a third party. You've also pulled away from other friends, families that didn't understand you is what I'm seeing because there's a higher level of knowledge here. You're resonating higher than your family members. You are receiving divine wisdom, divine knowledge. You're going through a purification. You're going through restoring your karma. This is a deep, deep, deep healing here. 
and you've separated from, from other people so that you can get ready to make that fresh start, that decision in your life, and you are going for it. Trust, and you will not listen to others. You're also not communicating with others at this time. It's wise not to tell anyone your business until you do it, until it's done. Keeping things within. Four of Cups is, is clarifying that Ten of Wands. You're done, this is a finished cycle. The Four of Cups is not interested. You have it twice is how I see it here. There's someone here that was not interested in any ordinary relationship. You weren't even focused on love at this time. You were going through a transformation. You were healing yourself. A lot of meditating here. I have someone here that can be, that has a business with yoga, someone that has uh, a coaching, a spiritual teacher here is what I'm picking up. And it's time to surrender. It's time to surrender and release the burdens that this, you. there's a feeling of having burdens in this past cycle, a releasing of all of that. And the advice from the Holy Spirit is be open to receiving unconditional love and light now. Be open. Because you're just going on a new phase of your life. Temperance card is Sagittarius. This is telling me someone is definitely at a distance here. King of Swords energy here once again. And someone wants to communicate and they want to communicate. They want to bring in problem solving, reality checks communication, telling the truth here, bringing in satisfaction and reward. The King of Swords is definitely the sign of that air energy, but his sword is facing up towards the angel. Do you see this? He has a lot to say that brings in divine truth here. Divine truth is coming in. We're going to do some clarifiers here. Very intellectual. I see a very intellectual individual here on the masculine side. Someone who's an authority figure. Someone who has power. Someone who does not take bullshit. Nope, nope, nope. Let's clarify. Let's clarify the world card. Tell me more about the world card. What cycle has finished? Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay, there's someone at a distance here that you or they still have romantic feelings for you. There's an energy of someone loves you here. They still want to communicate. Let's see why is the the five of pentacles here twice let's clarify that five of pentacles someone's has attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying the moment full someone here is single reminiscing about you someone from the past here there was a huge attraction you had a lot of passion with this person and this person is the one that you let go there was a breakup here let's clarify the Scorpio chemistry was here there's a strong chemistry here with this relationship a magnetic attraction here between these people someone that you had in your life in the past that you went through a breakup let's clarify the king of swords yes love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive I saw that in the Four of Cups here. And I see you meditating and healing yourself. By you loving yourself first, it makes you more attractive. Magnetism. When you fill up that cup of love for yourself. So this is someone who's doing I am affirmations. Doing the affirmations to bring in confidence, love, and happiness. A very wise Scorpio. And it's saying playfulness is needed here to recapture the romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Yes, because I'm not seeing any emotions or cups here. 
I have a king of sword and a king of pentacle. There's no, there's no, there's no cups to show me the emotions are hidden with love. You're only focused right now on finances and, the, and, and coming into authority with yourself going through healing. Bringing in that playful energy and loving yourself first can bring this, this energy for you to move forward in this new cycle. Here's where the water is. The angels are alchemizing this. There's an alchemizing. There's a path that's opening for you, Scorpio. Let's clarify the fool. Why is the fool card here as a challenge? Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. And I see that you have disconnected. Yes, we're in the COVID lockdown, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> but there is someone here, you, Scorpio, are about to take a risk, taking a leap of faith, a need to go into someone here that you love. Someone, we'll look further into it. Tell me more about the hermit. Traveling to see them, taking a retreat. There's a codependency here. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Now, this is what was challenging you. And I did feel it when I said third party. Someone here had a codependency. There was a third party situation that caused a breakup. You could be a single Scorpio and you just haven't been making any long-term commitments, but you've been dating. And I feel a third party situation with the codependency. Let's clarify the temperance unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going at the time this is where loving yourself first i'm seeing an energy of here of this man trying to ask for forgiveness from this woman the angels are all around but this person is not open up they're not seeing eye to eye now this could be the person i'm feeling from the past here there's an ex here that still has not healed over this they're going through the healing. A need for patience here. Because I feel like I said, this energy of someone blocking their heart now. Because I don't have a lot of emotions here. There is chemistry in this relationship, but someone is very hurt. It's saying, give your relationship a chance. Yes, this is it. Now do you see how she's turning her head away? And he's looking at her and he grabs her. They love each other so much here. But there's been a heartache here. There's been a breakup that caused a heartache here. It's saying work on this partnership. Work on it. And that is why there's a, the conditions were not possible. There was a need to end a third party situation here. Which you have done. There is an ending, a cycle that ends here. And it's telling me patience, unconditional love is needed here. Let's clarify one more for the King of Swords. What is the advice for the King of Swords? Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you. That is where the clarity needs. That is where it's coming in. There's gonna be a solving of a problem in your life with a relationship, definitely. What's possible, refine, get it clear, that brings an excitement. It brings in the love, the harmony, the happiness, freedom. Freedom to resolve and restore this relationship is what's needed here. There needs to be a restoration. There needs to be a transformation and a restoration. A understanding, compassion, and there's your happiness, my darlings. Well... I hope this reading resonated. If it didn't, you can go ahead and leave what doesn't, take what does. Um, I'm sending you tons of love. You know I am. And goodwill to all my Scorpios that come here. Have a wonderful September. I appreciate your likes and your subscribes. They help the channel grow as well as we grow together. Have a wonderful September. I appreciate you coming here, Scorpio. Bye.